Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to be unboxing and swatching 11 new sample ink vials that I have recently got. I purchased these in two different batches from an online store called The Ink Shop via an online shopping app called Lazada and I will link it in the description box. One order has five inks and the other order has three inks. And I kind of made a mistake because I was not ordering systematically, so I ended up having to pay for shipping <laughs> twice, but that's okay. I also have three more sample ink vials. I threw these in when I ordered Elias paper from Everything Calligraphy recently, so I can bump up my total cost so that I can be eligible for free shipping. I will link the store down below. I will also swatch these three sample ink vials, and that is why this video will feature 11 inks in all. The swatch cards for these inks have already been prepared beforehand. I made them when I ordered the inks. But this ink swatch book has been made a few weeks ago by myself. I have a video about how I made this, which I will link down below. It's always a good idea to swatch inks because if we just look at the vial or the bottle, what we see with our eyes is almost never a good representation of what the ink actually looks like on paper. Now I am just going to use a cotton swab to swatch these inks today, but you can also use the butt end of a glass pen. That way there will be less waste. I have a video about how to do that and I will link it in the description box. <laughs> and while I am doing this voice over, it is like I think yeah, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and that is why you hear some roosters crowing because we have roosters around the neighborhood. Now, just like all of my other ink swatching videos, when it comes to the part about the actual swatching, I will not speed up the clips because I want you all to see how the ink reveals itself on paper. I also really like the look of ink that is still wet glistening and all that because that is a fleeting moment that is of course not the ink's final form but it's a nice moment to immortalize so to speak and of course later on I'll show you how everything looks in their final form which is when they are dry. This is Ferris Wheel Press Adventuring. This is Ferris Wheel Press Velvet Ballet. This is Ferris Wheel Press, April Showers. This is Diamine Electric Pink.
And this is Diamine Hope Pink. Here we have Ferris wheel press tears of sapphire. And this is Dominant Industry Springfields. Here is Robert Oster Eucalyptus Leaf. And Robert Oster, Moran Mustard. Here is J. Herbin Lee de Te. And finally, I have saved this for last. This is Diamine Suman, an ink made exclusively for the Manila Pen Show that was just recently held in Metro Manila. And it was a great success. So many people went there and they had a lot of fun. I didn't go, I had no funds, and I lived 10 hours away from Metro Manila, but people shared their photos of their experience and it was awesome going through all of the posts.
So finally here are all of the ink swatches completely dry. This is Suman, a dark green reminiscent of the wrapping of Suman, which is a traditional Filipino food made of sticky rice wrapped in banana leaves. Suman with a sauce called latik is one of the major visual anchors in my award-winning short story called At Merienda, and I will link that story in the description box. Here is Li de Te, a yellowish brown. This has no shimmer. It is very similar to the Moran mustard. Here is Eucalyptus Leaf, also a non shimmering ink. Springfield is a bright neon yellow with yellow shimmer. Super, super bright. This is Tears of Sapphire and it is so gorgeous. It is a dark blue ink with a very noticeable red sheen. And the shimmer is actually a metallic light blue. It is super, super gorgeous. And the moment I saw this ink, I knew what pen to ink it in, which will be in a different video. This is Hope Pink, a straightforward bright pink, no shimmer. And here is Electric Pink, which is a darker pink with a silver shimmer. An April Shower, which is a light bluish gray with some silver shimmer. And here is Velvet Ballet, a sort of dark red with some shimmer that looks silver to my eyes. And finally, this is Adventurine. The ink is a light gray, but the shimmer looks like a copper or a rose gold. I cannot really tell, but in the Ferris Wheel Press website, they say that this is rose gold. This ink is super, super pretty. Now I did want to ink one pen in this video. I unboxed this Jinhao 82 in the translucent color called gray or volcanic ash, depending on which seller lists it. The names of these pens can be so random sometimes. And I think the adventuring is a good color match to the pen. And I have already tested out this pen when I unboxed it and the nib is is working fine it has a fine nib and the nib is working fine so I went ahead and loaded the pen with ink but as you can see it writes too dry and with a dry writing pen we don't really get to appreciate the shimmer of shimmering inks so I'm going to do the acetate sheet hack that I demonstrated in a previous video this specific video which I will link in the description box and I just did the exact same thing to this pen and left it alone for three minutes or maybe maybe it was four I have to admit I wasn't really paying attention but when I tested the pen again it wrote so much more wetly as you can see this is so much better and this level of wetness is actually already okay but because I always want to be extra <laughs> When it comes to ink flow, I redid the acetate hack to try to make the pen write even more wetly because I wanted the rose gold shimmer. But in the end, that second session didn't really add any more wetness. 
but this looks really, really good. Can you see? The ink base is a light gray, like I said, but it's still legible or visible on the page. And the rose gold shimmer is so lovely. Super, super beautiful. I'm so happy. And by the way, this paper pad that I am using is the Mica paper pad. I have a pen test video of this paper pad in my channel and I will link it down below. I am also very, very happy with these other inks. And I do plan to stop buying any more sample ink vials because I already have so, so much. And I also plan to embark on a monthly challenge for myself with the goal of using up all of the inks that I already have. But that will be the subject of a different video. And now I can finally write down this pen and ink combination in my tracking sheets for pens and inks in use. I talked about these tracking sheets in my video about my return to journaling, and I will link it down below. And that is my little video for you today. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.